Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another quarantine comparison. And for those who have not read the title just yet, today we are comparing the Nike PG4 versus the Jordan Why Not 0.3s. Quarantine comparison, let's get it. Yeah. Almost massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct basketball hope you guys are keeping yourself cool during this quarantine life if you guys would like either of these amazing basketball shoes click the link in our description box below to the pro direct basketball website where they will indeed take care of your needs today we are comparing the westbrooks versus the pg that this is extremely exciting like always but today we have ex-teammates okc brothers unfortunately man like damien lillard ended their partnership, but we remember it. It was Every lit. Time. Every time. But today, we're talking about the past. I'm sorry to bring up the hurt to me today. You're not sorry. You're not sorry. About... I'm not sorry. You're right. I'm not sorry. Yeah. But today, we're not talking about the players themselves. Today, we're talking about the shoes that these hoopers hoop in. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, of course, starting things off with easily the most important category the aesthetic, right? Yeah. Is it debatable? I don't know. It has to go to the Westbrook. This is the king of fashion in the NBA. His shoe was always going to be designed different. You hear me? Right? I love the deconstructed look. The different materials on this shoe, which we'll talk about a little later, all come together to make the shoe look amazing in every colorway so far. Don't get me wrong. PG4 has some incredible colorways, including the simple black and white. Including the simple black and white. But that... Westbrook ting, why not ting? Stop being silly, come on. I appreciate it. I appreciate the spin, Flo. I appreciate the spin. I got you, bro. Now, next up, we have the traction. Now, this was a close one. I'm not gonna lie. But the point goes to the PG4s. Not because the traction was better. The mm -hmm. traction was not better, innit? Yeah, yeah I hear that. The reason why the PG takes the cake on this one is purely because of durability. The lightning bolt traction pattern over here was absolutely amazing. The bite was incredible. The coverage was amazing. But the only reason why it lost this battle is because of durability. The individual nodes are way too pliable, right? They've come off already. I don't know if you guys can see, but oh, the yeah. toe area there, I see it. The I see it. is gone. Yeah, it's written off, and that's from like four hoop sessions, whereas the PG is holding strong. The point has to go to the PG. Next up, the cushioning. Yeah. I don't lie. This point easily goes to the PG for easily. Whoa, 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 We've got that full length Nike Air, right? Not quite Zoom, not quite Max, a perfect melody of both. Inbound protection is there, our response is there, without adding any, any weight. It's buff, right? And it's full length. Over in the Westbrook Wine, not 0.3s, we've got four foot Nike Zoom Turbo. I'm not saying it's bad, bro. I'm not saying it's bad, but why can't I get full length? No, 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 look, I'm not arguing that the point doesn't go to the PGs. I'm just yeah. upset with, with that easily adjective in it. I'm not, I'm okay, not okay, here for no, okay, 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 them okay. Folks. Get me. Come on, bro. My fault, my fault, bro. However, point goes to the PG4, because the clouds under your feet, it cannot be tested. It cannot. Let's move on. Real quick, guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you like, show some love. And of course, comment down below which of these two shoes you prefer. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to be a G, hit that bell and stay notified every time we drop a new video. Next up, we have materials. Yeah? Now, this is where the point easily goes to the Westbrook Wine 0.3s. Hold on. Easily, Hold on. Yeah? Wait. Because wait, as you guys can wait, see, wait. What? I agree. Move on. Go on, you got it. <laughs> I completely agree. 
Proceed. As you guys can see, the materials here are crazy. Yeah, no joke. Westbrook is known as one of the one of the leading fashionistas in the league, and this shoe is a perfect reflection of his hobby. Right. We have different materials and different uh, parts of the shoe. It's it's so all kicking off. You've got three M around the tongue. You've got the silicone-like strap. You've got hints of leather. I mean, it's beautiful, Timmy. It's the so feel, cool. the durability, even the breathability. Right. It's broken time. It's fantastic. Right. That goes to the Westbrook. That simple mesh and hints of leather can, can, can go out the window. Now, out, bro. Look, what it is, what it is, right, is that a lot of times with that many materials on a shoe doesn't bang. A lot no. of times, and so many cracks. But really, the why not gets the point because it did it and it did it well. Yes. It had any weight, it didn't make them look bad. All the materials are like good seasoning. You know when you season chicken right? They're like you season it, marinate it. That's what it is. You put it in the fridge for like three days, marinate yeah. it, season it. That's what's happened with the why not. Yeah. So the materials yeah. in the PG still bang, they're simple, they're to the point, and they're light, breathable, flexible. We love that. But when you take a risk like they did, you snapped it up. Yeah, well deserved. I agree. Hey. Moving on into the fit. Now the point has to go to the why not 0.3s on this one. First off, they were true to size. Yep. Whatever size you are, you get them, you put them on, and your foot feels great. The toe box is fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, there was a bit of faff that came with putting the shoe on. Yeah, bro. And I weren't here for the faff, bro. Yeah, right. Why was that shoe so hard to get on? It's a bit of Fair a... enough. Every time after that, I put the shoe on, it got easier. Yeah. But that first time, bro, oh yeah. my gosh. It's, it's low-key scoring. Here, low-key, this is probably the easiest shoe I've ever had to put on. My foot we love that. Soon. We love that. We love that a lot. That's good fit. That's what good fit is. And that's why it gets the point. Now, next up, we have support. Now this is quite a tough one because both these shoes have great support systems, but the point in this one has to go to the PG4s. And it comes from that feeling of being locked down once again. Yes, we mentioned earlier that the PGs are a nightmare to get on initially, but the more you wear them, the easier they, they are to get on. And once you are actually locked into the PGs, you are locked in to the PGs in it. Whereas with these, yes, it, it's it's slip on, but you do feel roomy, and it does require you know that extra <laughs> mid game. You know that extra mid game when you're in the free throw line. You need to I hear that. Adjust the fit. I hear because that because someone's stepped in your foot, or the laces have just unlaced or not unlaced, sorry, or loosened. So yeah, all of those reasons are why the PG4 support bangs, and thus it gets the point. I mean, I have to say as well, there is a little bit of lack of angle coverage, even though I would say the Westbrook is a bit of a mid, would you agree? Yeah. A little bit higher than a lot, maybe, or maybe not as high as a mid, but I feel like there's just a lot of space when the shoe is actually on to slip your hand or your finger down the side of your ankle, which therefore yeah. you get ankles doing. It's just like I mean, that could, that could be because obviously Russell Westbrook wears ankle braces and there's a lot of room around your ankles. So maybe the support That's system true. in this shoe is incomplete without ankle braces. Yeah. Do we care? Not really. PG. Sorry. <laughs> now, last and most certainly not least, we have the price slash value slash my favorite category. Now, the why not 0.3s are priced at 120 pounds, yeah. whereas the PGs are priced at 105. Indeed. Before I say anything, all right. I'm not a fan of shoes being above 100 pounds. That's the first thing, okay? The way. However, the point has to go to the PGs because not only is it a better performer, but it's cheaper. You <laughs> say 15 pounds, yo. There's so many things you can do with that, man. Timmy, reel them off. You can um, buy new socks. What socks. can you get with that, bro? You can get shorts on sale. You can get, you can shorts, get shorts on sale, bro. Tees. Some tees get them on sale. And you don't on sale constantly. Yeah, bro. So you can check them out. You can check them out. Oh, you, could, you can even get yourself a basketball. You can get you yourself get a basketball. basketball. It'd be yeah, big, yeah. Right? It's out there. There's a lot you can do with 15 pounds. So and, and you get the PGs, which is a better performer, no-brainer. PG4 gets the cake on this one. There it is. So right, guys, looking at all the categories, 
The score is 4-3 to the PG4, taking the cake on traction, cushioning, support, and price. Those are three very, very serious categories, bro. Serious. Are serious categories when it comes to hooping. I love the PG4. You love Deal the PG4. It's mad, bro. The shoe is killing it right now. Bam? Okay. That is everything from us, guys. Massive shout out to Poet Basketball once again. Like we mentioned earlier, if you would like either of these amazing basketball shoes, click the link in our description box below to the product basketball or they will indeed take care of you and they will because both these shoes right now are on sale okay we won't mention the price but they're on sale love that we love to they see love it. it we love to see it yeah. it's all right guys that's everything from us this is the nike pg4 this is the jordan wine at 0.3 we're pure kicks let's get, get it, it.